and welcome to University of Sydney News Program, Faced Innovation. Today, I'm honored to invite the CEO of Alibaba Group, and uh, let's talk about his successful management of this innovative company. Well, Alibaba Group is the biggest e-commerce company in China, which was founded in 1999. This company now has developed a leading business in C2C, B2B, and B2C e-commerce service in more than 240 countries and regions. Until 2014, the website of Alibaba accounted for 80% of the online sales in China. Different with eBay and Amazon, Alibaba Group doesn't have any warehouses and uh, inventory. And it also has a totally different uh, profit form with eBay. Alibaba charges the uh, vendor to advertise to earn the profits. At the same time, it also has the own payment system, Alipay, to ensure the security of transaction on its online shopping website. Well, this man sitting next to me is the CEO of Alibaba Group, Adam. Hi, Adam. Hey, Wendy. Uh, could you briefly share something to us about your company develop internal parts to obtain the success? Mm -hmm. Sure. Uh, well, a lot of facts uh, lead uh, Alibaba to be successful. In order to make uh, our company more inno innovative, we've, uh, we spend a lot of funds to, su to support the research and the development. Uh, our company spent around four four hundred four hundred and sixty million dollars in the first quarter of two thousand and sixteen to for the uh, research and the development, which occupies seventeen point six of total revenue. On the other side, mm -hmm. uh, from two thousand and twelve to two thousand and sixteen, we increased uh, related professional staff and uh, employees to support uh, the research and the development as well. So from, uh, through this internal development, we want to increase the possibility for employees to increase, to obtain uh, the creative ideas and innovative products. Yeah. Uh, as we know, uh, Alibaba Group is famous now, yeah. and uh, you know many people want to join your company. Mm -hmm. So could you tell me uh, what kind of people will primarily match the higher requirements of your company? Yep, um, Alibaba prefer to employ uh, to prefer young people to join our team uh, according mm -hmm. to hiring policy. Our company chairman Jack Ma and other top managers uh, hardly agree with one point: that uh, the most valuable, the most valuable wealth of the company is the team and the employees. And the management believes that uh, young people will be more creative and uh, innovative than old men. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, uh, in hurry. Uh, young people will always be first here, but among these young people, uh, Alibaba HR prefers them to own some features like uh, passion, mm -hmm. uh, hard working, mm -hmm. and good capability of learning. Uh, we prefer uh, this kind of young people most. Uh, the last question is that I saw the newspaper in the society said the Alibaba Group has a very strict requirements on mm -hmm. customer service, isn't it? Yes, it is. Of uh, course, customer always call, call us or send email to us for uh, for assistance or complaint. So we paid uh, much attention to consumer feedback. In two thousand, many companies uh, began to commence e-business like us in the same time in that period, but uh, most of them failed in the end. This because uh, they outsourced their consumer services to other professional uh, services company to cut down their operating cost uh, uh, every year. But uh, our company persevered in setting up our own customer feedback service platform to obtain straightaway feedback. Uh, the result is that uh, 
um, our company uh, generate far more ideas on how to improve our products and services after setting up a feedback service platform. And uh, straight away feedback uh, will make us improve our strategy and uh, tackle the shortage more effectively. Uh, oh, okay, our news program next will connect uh, project management master student uh, by phone call and uh, let's listen to her views about this innovative company. Uh, hi, Cecilia. Hi, Winnie. As everybody knows that Alibaba Group is a Chinese leading innovation organization in e-commerce area. This organization is very worth to analyze its pro innovation process. And I choose the hybrid ma model, which I learned from Dr. Jensen's lecture. As you see, this model has five uh, stages. At the stage of uh, exploration, Alibaba Group won uh, find that China has a very powerful potential e-commerce market because China has a rapid development of internet at the end of the 19th century. And this market need an innovative organization to explore this potential market to meet the increasing requirement from Chinese customer who has different shopping and paying habits with those uh, compared with those uh, Western customers. Under this situation, Alibaba catch this opportunity to join this new market through a series of innovative products. Okay, so by your research, how does company choose target market at the beginning, like its market position? Yeah, this is a good question. The so analyze for the next stage in selection will answer it. Alibaba decided to expand its online business through cooperating with small and medium enterprises like small private business, designer studio, and many other business type of company. Also, and this due to uh, the unique and specific Chinese market, Alibaba selected to create the new uh, e-commerce model, which is used for Chinese customers' expectation to develop their e-commerce market. Uh, well, how do you deliver these innovative ideas in reality? Yes, uh, there are many products innovative by Alibaba through those ideas, and manage them is complex and challenging task for um, Alibaba at the stage of implementation. It will present how this company uh, manages those innovations. Alibaba Group build the cross-functional teams with many professional managers from different areas. And uh, the important one, free to show ideas, uh, is a good point for innovation um, implementation. Um, as we know, Alibaba Group uh, own 80% market share of e-commerce industry in China. How is innovative max, uh, mag management approach for overseas market? Yeah, definitely. Alibaba want to join the overseas market to diffusion uh, their business on the e-commerce area. However, it is hard to compete with those uh, a global company in the um, in this market. So Alibaba cooperating with those famous global brand and develop the cross border e-commerce to enter this act attractive market. Uh, well, what strategy that uh, this organization used to build the sustainable success in e-commerce industry? Um, this question is related to the last stage, evaluation and feedback. In order to maintain continuous innovation, Alibaba applied the big digital analyze to seek the next innovation point, which could be beneficial for the future development of Alibaba. This process could be regarded as internal innovation management, which, which means managing innovation internally. Uh, in, in conclusion, Alibaba is a very successful company in e-commerce area in China, even in the uh, world well. And the main reason for this uh, successful uh, is that 
Alibaba has a reasonable innovation management strategy for localization, which operated by creating two innovative facilities, AliChat and AliPay. Exactly, AliChat allow um, buyers can directly communicate with sales, like uh, asking them questions about the products and uh, even negotiate with the price. Uh, at the same time, they also have another trust machine, Alipay. It is a third payment uh, uh, platform, uh, which applying secure transaction uh, for each trading on their online shopping website. However, this innovative part, which is very suitable for Chinese culture, has been ignored by Alibaba's competitor. Uh, in this way, customers could uh, obtain sufficient trust and confidence uh, of e-commerce form from this kind of innovative facility. Uh, well, uh, all in all, all of these innovative strategies and activities could help uh, Alibaba to achieve the uh, mostly market share in the e-commerce industry. However, Alibaba also have some problems like uh, no brand uh, recognition. Actually, there are some fake goods and uh, product sales in their online shopping website. So if Alibaba Group want to uh, keep their high reputation in the e-commerce market, they need to continually innovative in the future. Okay, thank you for watching today's news TV show program. Goodbye.